Hey guys, so it's um, is it the Bewitchy Hour? Oh my God, yes, two fifty nine, two fifty nine. I got it one minute before the Bewitchy Hour. I hit. Maybe I should turn it off and turn it on <laughs> right at three. No, that's okay. I'm not gonna do that. But um, we're gonna go ahead and do um the read for the Gabby Petito lawsuits that are coming up with the families. Um, let me go ahead and touch base and let you guys know what's going on. And we know this, this case um of Gabby Petito, Brian Laundry was. A very huge thing last year, very near and dear to our hearts what happened. And I did read on that case and and there were things, um, you know, definitely, you know, that if, if you ever go back and watch the readings, there were things that was on there. Were, but the one thing, and a lot, you know, there was a lot of us readers that, you know, felt, you know, Brian Laundrie was on the run, you know, um, at least that's my misinterpretation of terror. I really, I really thought he was on the run. Just being honest with you, you know, we can't always be right about everything. Um, but certain things, you know, came through, you know, the strangulation as cause that came up in reading that was very, you know, a little scary to have that validated, um, certain things, but just, you know, overall, you know, tragic. But one of the things, you know, to talk about, um, that did come up in the, in the reading was lawsuits of the parents. Okay. I did touch on that and said there, there would be lawsuits in the future and here we are. Okay. So, so that does come to pass. Here we are about to go into that. And, um, you know, so we're going to look at how that goes. Um, now, as far as criminal, I believe I looked into that as well. And I kind of feel this is kind of what I'm feeling here. And just my own thing. Um, just looking even, if you look at the amounts the laundries are suing for. Now, pretty much in March, it is Gabby Petito's father. And, um, and everything is... And um, the mother, you know, I have a civil lawsuit, but then there's also a second one. Oh, the first one is about a hundred thousand, but then um, the mother also put through another one, um, putting through Brian Laundry estate for damages of thirty thousand. Basically, for I, that's more looking at also even um, funeral expenses and and things like that is what they're suing for. Now, I will tell you. And these amounts, this this actually says a lot about the Petitos, which should be no surprise. They seem like great people, okay? But these amounts are not by any means huge, okay? And then, of course, when attorneys get a cut of it, it's gonna it would be smaller if they even are awarded these amounts. Um, the, I don't know if the jury could go up if they wanted to. That is a possibility. But they're not suing for millions, which, which there are a lot of people. If they were in a position like this, that may be what they do. They would maybe sue for millions for um, wrongful death or the cover up or, you know, especially the emotional distress. Oh, the emotional distress these parents went through. You know, when they were trying to get a hold of them and, and please give us information and begging them. And a lot of the intent of their attorneys is to show that they had knowledge of what's going on. Now, I did see a little tidbit in an article that popped up. I'm trying not to read too much on these. Just kind of glance. I like to just glance a little bit here. Um, you know, but um, I, I feel like the, the parents may want possession of the notebook. The notebook is a big thing, you know, that, that when that was founded, everything, and apparently there is a confession in there. Who knows um, how, you know, uh, preserved it was being in a swamp, but apparently his confession is in there and everything, which thank God there's some kind of last words in there um, of the confession, which is so, you know, this is not, you know, forever, you know, mystery. And I know there's probably a lot of, you know, things like why, you know, why? And this is the hard part, but there's still mystery, even the parents, you know, um, and there, there looks like allegations. Let's let's go and pop an article though to keep you guys in the loop. But let's um maybe uh let, which one do we want to check out? Try to find one's halfway decent. Yeah, this one might be. Oh, and they and and the 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 laundries tried a motion to dismiss and that was denied. Yes, rightfully so rightfully so yeah they they tried to get it dismissed so um but the jury trial is ordered and i believe they were going to try to do it in may but it might have been postponed a little bit so but that's okay we're going to get to it before that so let's kind of look at this jury trial has been ordered and scheduled for the lawsuit filed by the parents of gabby petito against the parents of brian laundry the suit filed by joe petito and nicole schmidt Last month claims Laundry's parents knew all along their son murdered 22-year-old Petito. 
we know. And even they took him on a little vacation. The attorney for Chris and Roberta Laundry have already filed a motion to dismiss. And that was, and they called it baseless. But um, that was denied. We know that. The jury trial, if it does happen, won't begin anytime soon. So it's going to take some time, probably. Um, according to court documents attained by Nexstar, a trial in front of a jury has been set for the week of August 14, 2023. Uh, so we're going to, this is, this is going to be one that we would have to come back to much later. But we'll go ahead and see how it looks. The trial's term window doesn't begin until next year due to scheduling in the Sarasota County Court System. Uh, jury trial um, barring dismissal is expected to be open to the public, which could draw international media. So this is going to be a public. This is probably going to be um, on tele television. It would mark the first time the Petito case reaches a courtroom. And while it would be a civil case instead of a criminal one, it could reveal highly anticipated evidence. Petito would Schmidt claim to have supported their accusations that the laundries were told their son murdered Gabby Petito and sought um, to help him flee the United States. And, so, and that's what I feel um, they may have taken him there to have him hide. Oh, yeah. And we all felt that's one of the things, yes, that came up in the reading is we felt they were covering things up and, and trying to do that. But whatever reason, he finally, you know, and while a day has been set, the, the case still faces the possibility of being, no, no, the dismissal is done. Okay, it's not going to be dismissed. They've already, that this article was written before that. And so, and here, to be clear, the courts in today's order is not passing defendants' arguments that this lawsuit should be... Okay, we've got that. Okay. So they're all past that. They're all past any kind of dismissal. So it's going to be next year. So it's going to be a long time. And that's pretty much what we're going to look at is how they're going to do on this lawsuit. And also, I would like to see, you know, what else could come up here. Um, some big things, but really a lot... A lot of this is going to be about intent. Now, some of what the um, the laundries try to say that it that it's their constitutional right to be quiet, and there 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 could be some challenges in that arena. But still, at the same time, if you have knowledge of a crime, you're supposed to you're supposed to talk about it. You're supposed to bring that bring that, you know, and, and everything that's evading and, and hiding evidence. Um, there was definitely some things, I believe, even with the van that it was cleaned out and, and stuff. I do feel that that was that van got cleaned out. Let's just go ahead. I'm going to go right into it. We're going to look at it. I'm not going to I don't want this reading to be very big, very long or anything like that. Um, and definitely we will touch base much later. But yeah, this this court case is going to come much later, but it is kind of popping up in the news. But but yeah, as I look at this, the laundries are, I mean, the laundries, the petitos um, are not asking very much here. They're really not asking for a, a very big amount. But I do feel part of the intent, this is just kind of what I'm feeling, is if we went into civil, then perhaps that could compel courts to look at that and maybe go criminal. Okay, that's, I feel this is part of the intent. And this may be why there's not a big heavy focus on the monetary value of the case. Okay. Oh, so let's go ahead and check it out. And it's just it's so sad. And, and we know this was just so tragic. You know how this all came about. You know, it, just like, you know, there's there's a whole lot of mystery. Even the cruelty card shows there. Um, the, there's a whole lot of mystery even why. You know, why why this even came about. You know, what, what was he thinking? And... You know, they, and, and this was, I believe, what, you know, there's so many reasons why this case touched people. You know, she just looks like a doll. You know, she's a doll. But this case was very documented as far as their trip. There was lots of videos. And there was a lot, you know, it, it, for appearances, say, if this, you know, we didn't know about any of this, and this did not happen, we would look like this looks like a happy couple. They're living their best life. They're going around traveling, going to beautiful places. You know, um, this this looks really good. And, and then um, it was also very compelling of a case because right before she was found, the cops had stopped them, and we had her on video and a lot to observe his, his body language and her body language, and then her being accused of being the abuser, and how this was coming about, which she's maybe 90 pounds soaking wet, and, um, 
you know, she may have, she may have got upset, flipped out, but he, he, he's the one locking her out of her own car, you know, so, um, you know, there, and how that all got twisted, and he's just sitting there laughing with the cops, like, this is the funniest thing in the world, so, yeah, you know, this was, and those cops dropped the ball, and I believe they quit, um, uh, they may have been asked to resign, because this was a really big case, so, um, okay, Let's kind of see, but I, I know a lawsuit did come up in my read that was definitely going to happen with the with the laundries, and and, def, and I I do suspect there could be um there I feel like the potatoes are hoping criminal charges come up maybe as a result of this if they're found guilty in civil. Not that one always influences the other, but it can be very compelling. Now, notice the high priestess is sitting at the bottom of there. What does she represent sometimes? Secrets. We're almost there. She can represent secrets. Okay, we're going to cut the deck. Here we go. Let me take a, cup, <laughs> a sip of coffee here. I'm waking up. Today is Friday. I hope you guys have a good weekend. Let's go ahead and see. Hey, man, everything is kind of stuck, suspended. So it's it's going to take some time, certain things with the court. Okay, and we kind of know that. So everything is just kind of in suspense. You know, we're going to be in suspense how this goes. Um, I feel also one of the things that could be saying is the laundries may try to delay this, delay that. Of course, they tried to stop it, stop it. Um, but, you know, it's going to take some time. So, you know, we're going to be hanging in suspense on this one, how this is going to go. But will it get going? Of course, we also want to make sure, and I feel it will. Um, but let's go ahead and see how it goes. And the Princess of Disc can be an announcement, a monetary announcement. Okay, the Princess in the page. Okay, so we've got an announcement of a lawsuit. Okay, very fitting, and that is kind of opposing. Now, we could also, and another thing that's popping up, even the suspension, when we think back to Hangman, the suspension and everything, um, even going back to, you know, when everything was in limbo and trying to get the, the laundries to talk and everything, and they would not and so forth. We were all in suspense with what was going on with that. And there is also even, we could even tap into the Hangman being about perception and so forth. You know, the um, the perception of even the public and everything. And even, of course, the Petitos, what, you know, was really happening behind the scenes with the laundries, which we know how the majority of the public feel. They had protesters out there and they feel they were definitely covering things up. We've, we've got a lot there. I mean, they would not speak to the Petitos. They couldn't even say, I'm sorry for your loss um, after she was found. Nothing. She, they said nothing to these people and it's it's very cold. You know, I know they're, they're looking out for their interests with their son, but be a human being. Be a human being. Let's go ahead and look at this. Okay, so we've got the Prince of Dis. I'm going to go ahead and attribute that to Brian Laundry, uh, because next to it is the Cruelty card. Remember, I just showed you the Cruelty card as I was shuffling, and I knew this was going to pop up again in the deck. You know, it was toward the bottom of the deck even. Um, but the cruelty card and a lot of this, um, obviously what, you know, Brian did was very cruel, but even how the laundries, I, I, just like I was saying, this was very cruel. What these people suffered, and this is going to be a big part of the case, and, you know, is not knowing where their daughter is, that they had the info that they could have, maybe we could have found sooner, that they could have turned in, Brian, they could have given information, something to help with this, to help their suffering. But it, it, it was just cruel. You know, the, over, the whole family caused them so much pain. So uh, cruelty is extremely fitting. But yes, of course, even Brian Laundry here, which I will say this is him. And um, I can't remember his birthday. Let me go ahead and double check. I, I like to sometimes check to see if this is in alignment with the signs. Um, let me see. Brian Laundry's birthday. According to Bollywood, Brian Laundry was born in Florida, United States. July 3rd. Birth is the 3rd of July, so that, Brian I believe that's cancer, cancer, right? July 3rd, Brian's yes. Brian's full name is Brian Laundry. Okay. Just curious. Sometimes I like to know. But no, I do feel he is he is the Prince of Dis here. Okay. And the Prince of Dis in the, in the um, thought can, can be kind of a dark character. He can shift into the dark side. That is true. That is in the thought book, by the way. 
and stuff. And then even a star, you know, um, the light at the end of the tunnel, the hope, you know, the family having hope during this time and everything trying to be, you know, that, that we, they would be able to bring, you know, Gabby home and stuff. And of course, that was a lot of that was shot down. Let's go ahead and look in there. You know, we got that strength card. They were just trying to be strong during this time and everything very hard and stuff. Oh, but uh, that's true. Um, let me go ahead and shift into there. The Nine of Wands. Let me go ahead and show you. Sometimes I like to show you guys in the brighter weight what that looks at. That actually makes sense. Um, that the uh, laundries were being very guarded. That makes sense. I, sh I should go with that meaning more. Um, so let's go ahead and show my Nine of Wands guy. And I believe this did come up in the reading. See how he's kind of blocked. And he's got a defense up and not letting anybody through. Okay, so that makes sense. That's what Spirit wanted to say. Um, that's what basically the laundries were doing. They had a block. They had a defense. They did not um, let anybody have any kind of info, anybody through. They wouldn't talk to the Petitos. They wouldn't talk to the public. They were completely shut down, guarded. They gave no information, nothing, not even to the cops if they could help it. Of course, there were times they had to let them in their home to go get evidence and things. But for the most part, they, you know, giving any info or anything like that, they were just completely shut down. So that is perfect fitting with the Knight of Wands energy. Okay, let's get in the lawsuit, tap into it. Let's go. Okay, and then we've got the Ten of Cups. Now, Ten of Cups, that, that has been, um, that was definitely a Gabby Petito card. Um, a Ten of Cups can be kind of show a happy family life or, or even a happy couple life, uh, we could say, and appearances. Um, Gabby, obviously the videos, the appearances, right? Of kind of looking this, you know, this beautiful couple having the time of their life going and traveling looks like a really loving, happy people. They're engaged and all of this, right? Except they're in love. You know, that's the way everything it looks. And that's why the Ten of Cups, a very blissful card, can also be about appearances. So say, for instance, if I was doing a relationship reading and stuff, if uh, say I have the Ten of Cups, it is popping up. But say I've got surrounding cards are darker, hence we've got cruelty here, right? Okay, so I know somebody is keeping up appearances. In other words, Gabby is not telling your parents what is going on um, with, the, with the conflict and the abuse that is happening in this relationship. They are not seeing what is really happening because she's, she doesn't want anybody to know. And that was, that was a hard part with Gabby. Unfortunately, is not um, really talking about to anybody and the deeper stuff, you know, she probably wanted the fairy tale. She wanted a beautiful life, but she, you know, acknowledging what she was going through on a deeper level. She didn't want anybody to know. She kept everybody very, very quiet, you know, which is a lot of times is what happens with, you know, people that are in domestic violence type of situations and so forth is they may not tell anybody else, you know, not only even just fear, but I don't want people worrying about me. Maybe they're ashamed, embarrassed. And of course, we've got somebody, you know, breaking them down, you know, and stuff that they could be doing that as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at that. So we've got the Emperor card. The Emperor card for me um, can be law enforcement and everything, you know, kind of, you know, them, you know, strict. So th what this makes me feel with this popping up in here, I do believe some of my um, initial impressions are correct, that part of the reason they're getting the civil in here is hoping later there will be a criminal, a criminal investigation and possibly charges. This is really what the Petitos want. They're not necessarily saying all that in the public right now. But they can't, you know, they could try to press charges to do all that. And there's probably something going on with that. But, you know, if, you know, the DA is not going to take it, for example, and, and press charges against, um, you know, the laundries and so forth, there's not a lot they can do. But, you know, I, I feel that's why they're hoping some evidence that comes to light and comes to public. And it looks like this is going to be a public case. Okay, that certain things are brought to light that perhaps the DA would take it on. So with the emperor popping up in there, I feel that that seems to be affirming what I was feeling, that that is their intent. It's not really as much about the money. Like I said, they could ask for millions if they wanted to. Okay, this is this is a wrongful death. Hi, you know, um, looks like messing with even evidence and things like that, trying to maybe aid and abet someone to get out of the country. So, you know, there's there's a lot of stuff that's that's going to come up, certainly, in this trial. And, and I feel so far everything, I don't see any kind of being able to stop this. Okay, let's go ahead and look. And we got the Queen of Swords that is popping up in there. 
And that actually makes me feel the Queen of Swords for me can be the other mother. Okay, that can be represent the mother-in-law very often for me in certain things. So that is especially, and that's what I kind of felt. Now I'm starting to kind of remember. It's been a while since I've done this case. Um, that the mother, I feel, is even more of the pulling of the strings, even than the father. Not saying the father doesn't too. They're both, you know, hand in hand in this. But the mother really is that protecting of the son. You know how mothers protect sons and things like that, right? Okay. Uh, she's really behind a lot of this, okay? And also, even the Queen of Swords can represent knowledge, information, you know, and, and things. So there's there's a lot there. She has a lot of info. So, in, in matter of fact, you know, with Brian, he may have been more um, open to be able um, to, he may have been more open and able to talk to his mother than his father. Now, something that just popped up, memory, like I said, some memories are flooding back to me. When I did these readings, I just realized this opposing card too. I know I said it could be information of the lawsuit. This was actually Gabby Petito's card. I just remembered. So I'm going to say the opposing force is Gabby Petito, the whole case and everything, you know, and what happened with her. So let me step back. I'm going to change my tune on that one because my recall was like, remember, this was Gabby and stuff. And one of the reasons I feel she got the prince of this or princess of this, and this is very fitting with him being the prince. So this comes to better, uh, better together like a puzzle piece. But, um, and one of the reasons Gabby Petito was the princess is she's very down to earth. She's in nature. She loves to get out there. You know, she's, you know, this free spirited, beautiful girl. You know, this is not somebody who's cooped up, you know, likes to stay behind a computer all day. I mean, obviously she was on a computer making YouTubes, but I mean, she's out in nature. So yes. Yeah, so I, I just wanted to correct myself, you know, along the way, this was always her card when I read for her. Okay, uh, pretty much always her card. I think she may have sometimes maybe a little Queen of Cups popped up in there to talk about emotion. I need to shift. Excuse me, um, sitting on my foot. And um, <clears throat> but that was her card. So this this fits well with with the two the the two characters of the story with Brian Petito, also a nature lover. OK, with the Prince of Dis here. But this character in Thoth can be a little dark sometimes. I'm not saying it always is, but it does have a dark side. As if we've got that bowl there. When anger, you know, we know about Taurus. Taurus can be peaceful. But when angered and so forth, if something ticks them off, here comes the bowl. OK, so this is her card. So I just wanted to correct myself along the way while I'm reading. You know, like I said, <laughs> some things are coming back to me in my memory. I do not have the best memory, but tarot can trigger it. It's very good at that. Let's go ahead and look at that. I do got the chariot that is popping up in here. Now, that, um, actually, I'm going to shift a little bit here. A lot of that is him. You know, he was, he kind of took off, you know, kind of going forward and things like that. You know, kind of was on the lamb. That can also be traveling for me. It can also represent that. You know, that was a big issue, huge issue with the case. The victory card is popping up in here. Excellent and stuff. So this is coming up in the future area and the victory card. So I do feel so far with that energy that the Petitos could be successful. That is very promising that this is popping up in here. Okay, so let's go ahead now. But will, you know, would they be victorious, of course, to get this criminal? That's what, see, that's what I feel is the, the real intent here. They don't care about the money. Okay, it's not as much. I mean, the money can be a good, you know, dig on them. You know, maybe they'd have to sell their house. Maybe that, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, sure. But, you know, it's, <coughs> they could, if it was about the money, they could have sued them for way more. They're just trying to make a dent there. But I feel a lot of this is if they can win the civil, this could get the DA's attention, the law's attention. And then maybe we could go criminal. Okay. So let's kind of go ahead and look in here what we've got. And we've got the moon and a lot of everything was unknown and all that. And now we've got the Prince of Cups that is kind of popping up in here and stuff. And a lot of that, now that's kind of a different shift and kind of look and angle of a prince of more of an emotional. Remember, he is a cancer. Okay, he is a cancer. Okay, so this is kind of here the appearances and stuff. You know, obviously him and the relationship, but this is this is his sign. This is who he is, and so forth. But we've got the moon. There was so much confusion and obscurity and deception. The moon can also be about deception, especially on his whereabouts. 
and so forth. So there, you know, there was definitely deception in this case. Six of Swords is popping up in there, um, which the traveling, that's what they were doing. They were on this trip. They were going all over the place and everything. Six of Swords energy there. You know, and a lot of it was, you know, where is she? And stuff. So the success card is popping up in there, so I do feel they can be successful on this, okay? Um, this is good. Success, victory is showing in the positives. And stuff. So, <clears throat> but the hopes, the fear, of course, is futility. Um, in the sense, now, the, the Seven of Swords can be about the betrayal. It also can be futility in this deck. It's only in the fear section, okay? I always, that's, that's just kind of weird you know, black hole in, in the layout, um, you know, they're, that they're more fearful. What if all of this is futile? We go through this, but I, I do feel, I agree with that article. They want possession of that notebook. Okay. You know, which I don't know if they can necessarily get possession, but at least be able to see it, read it, see it for themselves. It's so important for them. It, it's a piece of the puzzle. They want, you know, just why, why, you know, and so forth to understand. And But also, you know, maybe the intent of, of some clues of what the laundries knew towards those days and so forth. The Ruin card. I believe this did pop up for the, the laundries. Ten of Swords and so forth. This case is going to open doors of information that, that, um, we 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 suspected but did not we're not, did not know and we're not aware of and the ruin the ten of swords is obviously the whole thing obviously terrible you know the the death of gabby Petito, even the death of brian laundry the whole thing is very tragic there is a lot of death the backstabbing and all that but even the backstabbing of the Petitos, you know from the laundry family i, I feel all this come out but the ruin card i feel even just very karmically is going to come around and so forth. So this is going to be a very powerful one. We've got victory and success. So I feel they will do well in their case. They should win. It's not going to be easy. I do feel some challenges. Um, for instance, you know, um, you know, like they were saying, you know, what are things they're going to say? They have the right to, you know, plead the fifth, not speak this, that. That is true. You know, that, that may be true, but there is also aiding and abetting. And that's one of the things that I feel and that the that the Petito's um, lawyer should be able to prove it's not just that. And here comes the courthouse card. It just popped up at the bottom of my deck here. And the lover's even is showing to represent the laundries. Um, but the, um, the showing the intent to help him get away with the crime. Okay, we, and, th and that's something that is important for the Petitos to be able to do. It's one thing to be silent, this, that. It's another thing if you are helping, if you are doing away with the evidence, if you are, you know, all that. And, and I do believe they cleaned out that van. Okay, that was one thing. But yes, the courthouse is popping up. We're going to make it to court. They're not going to be able to stop it. They may still try to do a few things here or there. They're not going to be able to stop it. Okay, let's kind of go ahead and look in there. Yeah, and I got even a toilet label that, that kind of makes me feel that they were working and, and doing everything they could to be able, you know, to, you know, hide evidence of things. Let's go ahead and look. Now, I do have the gift card popping up in here. Um, the gift, what that makes me feel is that notebook and stuff that I, I, I mean, it's something tragic, but, you know, this information, there's stuff in there that they need to see. Okay, that, you know, they'll, they're going to have access to. This is a big one. Um, you know why the Petitos even want to get this going on. And we've got the lovers also um, that is popping up in here, which really, uh, you know, I will just say, just like I said, pointing the lovers card, it could represent, you know, um, the laundries, but it could also represent Gabby and, and, and um, you know, Brian. So main female. Okay, what did I say about the Queen of Swords here? I feel the mother, maybe even more than the father, I'm not saying the father has clean hands whatsoever, but I feel the mother is the main instigator, okay, Laundry's mother, main female, okay, with, with a lot of the stuff, you know, which which is kind of understandable. The despair card shows at the bottom. A lot of that, sure, she's going to look at her son. He's in despair. You know, I, you know, what have you done? I, I can imagine the conversation. But then wanting to protect them, you know, absolutely, you know, and, and I know some of you, you know, 
I have said, just like, for instance, I do have a son, you know, I love him, you know, in my heart, I don't ever, I, I don't feel he could ever possibly, but let's just say something happened. I just, I, I wouldn't protect him. I, I wouldn't, um, I would, I would be like, you have to turn yourself in, you know, you, you, you know, if, if for some reason he, I'd be like, you have to turn yourself in, you have to own up to this. I'm sorry. You know, I can't protect you. You know, it's just, you know, you can't because that, that's just, you can't do things like this, you know? And stuff, but I do get the card Great Fortune, so that does make me feel um, once again. Um, I do feel they will win the lawsuit. Um, I'm pretty good on that. I'm I'm pretty confident. It's success, victory, and the ruin card in the end. You know, which really is so many, um, <clears throat> so many meanings that I can go with that. Um, I know the ruin card definitely showed when I was reading um, the case. You know, with with everything with the deaths, they're they're both gone. You know, it's it's an overall sad situation. It's devastating, the backstabbing, the betrayal, but even also the backstabbing, the betrayal, we could say, you know, that really the laundry did the petitos during a time when, you know, it's just like, you know, what if it, what if the shoe was on the other foot here? Okay. What if for some reason Gabby, you know, and, and their son is out God knows where as up and then say they find Brian, but they want Gabby found. They just want you know, everything, you know, come together, closure, this, that, him to be, her to be held accountable. What would they do? How would they feel? It'd be different, wouldn't it? It'd be a different story. It'd be very bizarre, but it would be a different story, right? Of course, they would want, they would want answers. They would want law enforcement going in. They would want the potatoes to talk and everything. So, you know, it, it, it's a very frustrating situation overall, you know, looking at this. It does look good. Um, I'm giving. I, I'm doing this way in advance, of course. Like I said, the, their court case is going to come up next year, um, but it does look good that they will have that victory. But um, and the potatoes, though, um, it it could potential. Now, oh yes, I was going to look. I almost forgot. Could this potentially go to criminal? criminal and stuff and that's it having the emperor in there is it's it's a possibility it shows intent but it is a possibility but let's go ahead and just if there's any kind of potential I, I know i looked at this before yep so we got the fortune so i do believe wheel of fortune pops up here i do feel believe they can win this lawsuit yeah definitely ace of disc yep i, I feel winning the lawsuit is going to be pretty good there I'm not sure if I could answer it yet. It might not be meant to be answered yet. I don't want to say a definite if I'm not sure. I do get the change card. So this is what I'll say um, a little bit. And I do have the Queen of Wands, which sometimes could represent a female lawyer, attorney, DA, and things like that. So with the change card, and I, I do have to take note my emperor is there. I will say there is a possibility that after the civil makes its mark, there is a possible of some criminal. Oh, let me look at Kipper. Kipper's kind of good for that. I know there's some stuff. Um, especially with that ruin card, that would definitely be a big one. Going to jail, right? And that would be a lot harder. Okay, there's the lawsuit. So got the marriage to represent them. There will be adjudication. Adjudication possibly pop it up in there next to marriage or the married couple, um, the laundries. So we can see another court case. That notebook is going to be brought into evidence. That gift, I feel, represents a notebook. Just just something about it. Just something about it. <clears throat> that is Distant Horizons. That card pops up. So I'm going to yield on that as far as, um, see, there it is. Okay, there's that kind of makes me feel, like I said, I'm not trying to get away from an answer for you guys. I, I'm just being real with you. With the distance horizon, there is a potential, but there's still certain things need to fall into place before something like that can manifest coming into the future. It's still it's still in kind of an unknown kind of area. If that if it could go criminal, um, that there's there's some factors. It 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 depend it's dependent on some things and how they manifest. Okay, you know how good Matito's lawyer is, and and the things that come out, um, public pressure. You know, one of the things DAs want to get elected, um, and, and things. You know, and and maybe that DA says, okay, I'll take. You know, I'll do charges, and and people vote because of it. You know, <clears throat> it feels like there's a whole plethora of things that would have to influence that before some charges can be made. And of course, you got to remember, DAs don't want to lose, so they don't want to take on a case where. 
maybe it is harder to try them criminally, okay, versus civilly. Okay, which of course, you know, it's a no-brainer that is the case. You know, bringing up criminal charges, could that open a can of worms for people being able to be private and not have to talk, you know, um, when there are certain, there are certain protections um, to be able to, as it, with an ongoing case, not incriminate and, and all that. See, there's a whole weave here and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and kind of yield that certain things have to fall into place, distant horizon. So that feels way further okay before something or something even goes but there's a possibility okay i believe with that but but the lawsuit um i feel pretty good at, you know on that that they're gonna win this okay so i'm giving a way preview because i i thought the case would be coming up a little bit sooner but then obviously it's there it looks like next august so we gotta wait a while uh stuff but i did want to get that out on the books and get you guys a reading on that as it's been popping up in the news i do feel that but that ruin card is for the laundries, that's heavy, but but it, it really the ruin cart. God, it's so it's so cathartic, cathartic. Everything is so huge. Um, you know it it's you know even just you know the children, which they're really children to me. I I know they're adults, but you know they're very young. I I think of them because they're my kids' age. Um, very young people, very tragic. Um, and and, and everything like that. Um, you know the death, the sadness. You know. Both, you know, for, for both even parents to lose a child is very tragic. Okay, let's just step back and be, you know. Um, but, you know, obviously one situation weighs differently than another as one was the, you know, the murderer and the abuser and, and one was the innocent here. But, you know, overall it's just the way, you know, everything with the families impacted is just devastating. And then, but you really with the laundries, it just looks like, you know, it, it's time for, you know, chickens to come home to roost here, you know, for, for their role to play that, you know, I, I do believe just on, um, <clears throat> as a, as a moral thing here, as, as just a, a human, I, I, I know you love your son. I know this, that, I know you don't want to throw him under the bus, whatever it may be, but there is also the right thing to do, the human thing to do. And, you know, in, in a certain situation, there's, there's, you know, human nature, you know, and try to be talking, you need to you turn yourself in, you need to do this, you know, this is a horrible thing you've done, you know, and, and, and so forth. So it's, it's going to be huge and stuff. Let's just go ahead and let's sit with it and stuff. Hope you enjoy my read and, and we'll go ahead and see what happens next year.